Thanks everyone for joining. Um, my name is Patrick. I'm the founder of Freehold. And um, you know, we've been working with a, a big gang of folks who are interested in um, the city coins concept. And so we wanted to kind of go through this and give you an understanding of what it all is. And I can answer questions at the end. Um, maybe just put it in the ask a question section and you should be good to go. All right, let's go through city coins. Mine city coins, yield stacks, and earn Bitcoin price and support your favorite cities along the way. So what we want to do is we want to stack for our city. Um, you know, you can support your city, grow its crypto treasury, uh, while earning yield for yourself in your city. Um, I just have like a little map here of uh, kind of Miami, but also um, signaling that another city that could be kind of cool to join the mix would be San Francisco. So what are the initial things you can do with city coins? Um, like the very instant city coins um, uh, get launched, you'll be able to mine them and stack them. Um, so we'll just kind of go through what those things are. So uh, mining is just simply forwarding stacks into a city coin smart contract on the stacks blockchain. And what's happening here is miners are competing with each other uh, in terms of who can uh, essentially um, spend the most to win that respective block. Now, the winner is chosen by a verifiable <clears throat> random function. Um, and so, um, you know, someone with a very small amount of mining could still win, uh, but they have a lower chance than someone who's uh, sending a, a higher amount. Um, this is actually sort of like a generalization of how Stacks uh, does mining with Bitcoin. Right now, when you hold Stacks, you earn Bitcoin. Same thing is happening here. Except for the difference here is that 30% is for 30% of the forwarded stacks is sent to a, a reserved wallet for the city. Now let's move into stacking. So uh, what does it mean to stack? So in the stacks ecosystem, um, one does not stake and earn a native currency as a function of locking their tokens. What they do instead is they actually do this thing called stacking, where the base currency that's forwarded by the mining function uh, gets forwarded to the holders of the coin. Uh, city coin holders will then stack their city coins, like for example, Miami coin, to earn stacks yield. Now, this yield comes from the remaining yield that is transferred from miners, so that's about 70% of, of that yield, and that's going directly to uh, the stacks wallet of the respective city coins holder. So they have city coin, with their respective city coin wallet, and they are, um, they are locking that and then uh, essentially pointing to the wallet where they want their stacks to go. And so they're providing a function there as well. Um, and then um, they can take those stacks and further stack them uh, to yield Bitcoin. So effectively, it's like a dual yielding asset, which is pretty nice. OK, so let's talk about the city treasury. Uh, city treasury has a specific wallet. It's custody for them. Uh, the wallets can be used for anything the city wants to do. So as soon as the city picks up the wallet, they can spend it immediately. They can, they can stack it. They can do whatever they want. But you know, some ideas that we have are Know, could be a good idea to spend it on public spaces or infrastructure improvements or hosting city events like uh, Suarez did this morning um, with uh, with with um, kind of like the crypto folks that he had on, on the um, webinar. And one of my favorites is actually re recruiting startups. I think that's that's like a big win. I could totally see like a, I could totally see like the municipality of Miami sort of doing that. Uh, and and then. The other thing with these with these coins is, uh, as they launch in new cities, you actually need mayors to accept the reserved wallets. So they need to pick up the bag, and they do that by um, sort of proving their identity in, in, to a special email. Okay, so some city coins utility. Like, why should you collect city coins? Like, what it, like what's beyond the meme? Because like the meme alone is actually quite interesting. Like, if I wanted to support Miami over San Francisco, for example, um, I might be willing to put money in there to signal to the market and to the world that uh, this is a city that's worth um, that's worth paying attention to, that's worth funding, et cetera. Um, but you know, the city coins can do more. Um, we'll get into that in a second. So we think um, we think uh, this is like a much more much less antagonistic relationship between uh, kind of like citizen stakeholder and governing body, where um, where the the um, the person who's uh, kind of like buying the actual city coin is directly supporting uh, the city and stands to benefit from it as, as the city. Um, and you know, if the you know, 
value of the city's coin goes up. You can have pride for having been an, uh, an OG, um, you know, for having held it. But I do think um, this is actually a fundamental shift from municipal debt to municipal equity. And what I mean by that is that antagonistic relationship where a government might a government might have to um, uh, issue uh, debt and then tax it back from the citizens. Instead, this is something where um, you have stakeholders from anywhere in the world effectively um, um, rooting on a city and its success. Um, and so there are stakeholders in success of the city, which is a much more positive sum relationship. The programmability is pretty cool too. I think um, aside from generating yield, which is nice, um, the people who uh, develop with city coins can program them such that um, you, know, you could log into applications with them, like use them for proof of HODL access into applications or um, borrow, like lend and borrow and trade with them. You can execute any smart contract that requires the city coin. So you can essentially have a community that's built all around a specific geography um, uh, and essentially, uh, for lack of a better term, like kind of terraforming the, the kind of like uh, crypto civilization of that prospective city. Um, and um, yeah, as I mentioned sort of earlier, um, each city's token may have unique programmable requirements. So um, you might you might want to only use uh, only use uh, apps where other people are holding the coin, or have an, a smart contract execute um, only with a specific city coin and not with another. So this is like this is a potentially interesting uh, thing where I think um, you know the possibilities are kind of limitless, and people will, I'm positive people will surprise us with what they come up with. Um, here's just like a quick uh, view of like what a dashboard could look like for a large city coin holder that want that wants, uh, or sorry, a dashboard would look like for someone that is um, uh, is earning uh, earning city coins. So, for example, here uh, you could see like their HODL score, how much they've earned, how long they've er uh, how long they've held for, what you know, what amount that's in the top left. You can see their activity, um, you can see the yield that they've made since uh, subsequent to what they've earned, and then you have all these challenges that they can do. So, you know, maybe you uh, maybe you uh, reward people, you know, two thousand dollars for building a Hello World app for Miami coin. Um, if you re reward them a few hundred dollars for recruiting new startups to Miami. Uh, and then lastly, uh, you know, what about just creating creating content to get people to visit Miami? Uh, or even, or even uh, um, kind of like educational content about the coin itself. Um, so they can, they can actually do work and be paid in the coin. And, and uh, we have Freehold, um, you know, should everything uh, move smoothly, which we expect it to, um, uh, we plan to support that functionality. Um, another uh, concept in, in regards to um, what the dynamic is between city coin holders and the city is that the market is essentially developing a relationship with the city and can uh, and can inform the city um, kind of like whether they think that it's doing a good job or not doing a good job. So, uh, for example, um, like if you were to like anthropomorphize Miami, it's like the highest self-esteem city in the world right now. And I think um, people really would want to support it. Um, they're very pro what uh, Mayor Francis Suarez is doing, in my opinion. Um, and Mayor, like Francis Suarez, for, for all intents and purposes, seems like like a new model for a mayor. He's almost like CEO of a city, but he's not he's not quite he's not quite a Republican, not quite a Democrat, from what I can tell. And he um, is very pro tech, pro human, pro growth, uh, just pro common sense. I think a lot of people would support him. Whereas there are other cities in the world that um, that are um, that are potentially running themselves into the ground, and you'd um, you you may want to you may want to hold a little bit of that coin in case they have a turnaround, but you may not be bullish on them, and the market will effectively um, tell the story of that over time. The other thing too is like um, in terms of how the city spends its its um, its its yield from its its wallet, you'll be able to track all the spend. So never will there be a sort of like foggy interpretation of wh where the city is spending their money or where it's going. It will literally have on-chain chain spend. So every 10 minutes you'll be able to see uh, where the where the money is going uh, with, with like surety. Um, and yeah, I think I think just like, uh, I think a lot of people just feel, just like, you know, shifting some power to individual hodlers. I think a lot of people sort of feel disillusioned uh, with um, their, like most, I think most people feel disillusioned with with their governments and the effective allocation of capital, and just like how well they're run. And I think 
you know, owning a stake in a city, even if it's not even your own city, I think is actually fairly meaningful. Um, and and if you do own a stake in your own city, you you essentially have what it, you essentially have capital flight at the speed of light. So you can you can essentially vote with your dollars as opposed to just your ballot and your feet, which I think is uh, fairly novel. Um, and then the last point here, um, it's not absurd to think uh, it's not it's, it's actually not unrealistic to think that uh, some people's holdings of their respective city coin will yield to uh, will in, sort of indirectly yield to the city's treasury more than their actual uh, their actual municipal tax bill would be in a given year. So, for example, if I held a hundred thousand dollars of city coin and it yielded um, let, let's just say, as an example, I'm not saying for sure, but it yielded thirty thousand, uh, or yielded like ten thousand dollars to uh, the city. But uh, let's say I had an income of like one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Well, the city's probably not going to tax. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing the city might, and maybe the city taxes like ten percent or something like that, um, or sorry, ten thousand dollars or something like that. And you uh, have effectively uh, offset your actual tax obligation. So I think there's an actual future, maybe maybe like maybe like five years down the road. Where cities are actually negotiating with uh, coin holders, um, where um, where they're benefiting from coin holders, like uh, they might get a tax break, for example. Cool, a lot of information so far. So thanks, gang, for staying with me here. Um, so let's talk briefly about Miami and Miami Coin. Um, we uh, are, as a community, um, collectively, um, uh, you know, on Tuesday looking to mine Miami coin. And so what this looks like is um, about, uh, what this looks like is 20 uh, individual miners have to uh, send an activation transaction and then mining can can uh, can get started. So there's no pre-mine, there's no ICO. Um, you know, uh, anyone has access, it's open membership mining. Uh, and so if you want Miami coin, you gotta mine it uh, first. Um, and later if you want it, maybe there'll be exchange support, we'll see. Cool, so why Miami? Uh, I've given a few reasons here before. Um, I think it just has, uh, well, I think it has a great culture for, for one. Um, you know, it's a, it's a pretty heterogeneous, heterogeneous um, city. Um, it embraces innovation. It, it is a not, it's not a city that is pro-poverty, we'll put it that way, um, and, and sees innovation as the, as the fountain of, of wealth for itself and its citizens. Uh, it definitely embraces technology. I think, like you know, uh, Francis Suarez, uh, Francis Suarez, essentially um, took people in, took technologists in when certain cities did not want, to, where, where certain cities were effectively um, uh, signaling that they did not care about their technologists uh, uh, because their ideology was getting uh, getting ahead of them. Um, the the next thing is that um, you know they're very very welcoming to crypto. For sure, um, the, you know, uh, Mayor Suarez this morning just had a big crypto uh, sort of panel with, I think it was like Chamath and Balashi and a bunch of other people. It was really incredible uh, what he was able to do. And um, if you listen to him talk about this stuff, he really knows his stuff, like for sure. And you know, and so um, you know, this is someone who this is this is this is like a mindset that I think is going to. Uh, also, like permeate through other mayors. Like any mayor with laser eyes, is effectively uh, taking on the archetype of of a new model for mayor, which I think we're going to see over this decade, where cities are competing for the residents, just like companies do. Um, and and I, I think um, I think that's actually going to be very very important for uh, city growth and city wealth in the long term. And then lastly, Miami. Miami is a city that welcomes disruption, transformation. They ask. They you know. The attitude is like, why not? Why not us? Why don't why don't we uh, become this? And that's why Miami was the perfect jump off point for city coins. Cool. So when Miami, uh, I sort of mentioned this earlier, uh, MIA is launching June eighth, twenty twenty one. We're tentatively looking at three p.m. Eastern, but this is like a minor activation thing. Like I don't control when this happens. Like the miners will um, when the code is published. Um, and the code's being created by just like a, a, a group of people, uh, individual contributors. Um, and anyone can mine it June 8th. And then they can stack it for stacks and then stack the stacks for Bitcoin. So if you want to learn more about Miami, if you have like questions, 
you have questions, um, go to citycoins.co forward slash Miami. There's also like an FAQ that answers a lot of questions. So like, see if you can um, find some of those things and um, and we'll, um, we'll answer those. And just some general supporters. These are not investors, our stakeholders in Miami Coin. These are just folks we've been, you know, working with and socializing the idea with, and um, you know, they've been they've been very helpful. I just wanted to give a shout out to them. Uh, and so that's it. Cool. I'm gonna hop out. Great. Awesome. So it looks like there's a lot of questions. Um, let's see. Cool. Um, Cool. I'm going to go to the questions. Uh, <laughs> someone asked, how do I earn more stacks? Um, join freehold.com. There's a waiting list, um, but there's a few hundred people who um, who are um, doing work and building the reputation for earning, for earning and hodling. Um, how do I buy Miami coin? You can't buy it. you got to mine it first. Um, eventually, exchanges might pop up that support it, but I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, in control of that. Uh, how does the city get added? Yeah, so... Um, we're trying to do is like help the community coordinate a bit, um, so folks can um, folks can go to citycoins.co, scroll down like three fourths of the way, uh, three fourths of the page, and vote in the city that they want to see next. It's very like U.S. centric, but for people around the globe who are watching this, like um, don't uh, don't think that this is not um, something that wouldn't happen outside the United States. It just uh, it was easiest to like kind of create a list without it getting too overwhelming. So if you if you want to bring this to like Bangladesh or London or something, uh, just type in that city and it'll be captured. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's grassroots. Yep. Who decides what the funds are used for? The city and the market will reward or punish them for how they use the funds. They can be as um, they can be as um, as transparent or as opaque as they'd like. Now, however, the 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 um, the the transaction history will be all on chain, so people will be able to see it and like audit it, which is pretty nice. Um, I like to hear everything about how Cloud City works in layman's terms and how it's beneficial to investors. Cloud, uh, cloud City is essentially just a concept of like people uh, doing work in the cloud and overlaying to the land. And so, like, this is an idea from Balaji Srinivasan. Um, and so, um, essentially, yeah, you could like you know create a place like in the middle of Texas or something that has no street lights or anything, and like get people you know organized online and like you know build build a movement toward it, and then like start to build there. And like this descend upon the land and um, or you could do it with a regular city if you have like um if you have a if you have like a mayor or a governor or a um you know a president that is uh uh open to having essentially equity um uh, equity um ownership in, in these things um uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. i'm just gonna skip that because it didn't make sense um Uh, these are long. So these are long questions. Uh, there's a there's a there's a question about clean energy. Um, you know, I think like do, definitely do your own research on on like clean energy stuff. Um, my personal bias is like, I think over the long term we have to transition to like nuclear or solar anyways, and Bitcoin will probably accelerate that. Um, and um, Stacks actually just recycles Bitcoin's proof of works. So, like you really actually, I think you actually want to have just like, one proof of work that's like super reliable. And 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 just be like, okay, that's where if there's any energy burn, it's happening there. You experiment everywhere else, and just recycle Bitcoin's proof of work. I think that's like that's like pretty, that's pretty, uh, that's like an elegant design, and that's what Stacks does. So like Stacks is pretty green, and City Coins are pretty green as a function of that. Um, what defines a good idea for City Coin to be spent on? Like honestly, that's that's the role of people who hold City Coin and and the in the cities who pick it up. So uh, I don't define the good ideas; the market will. Uh, how do you track funds that are that are spent once it's off chain when they be able to convert into fiat? Um, um, the point of tracking funds is just that uh, you can see if something goes from a city coin wallet to something else. So, um, you know, so you could borrow against that, those coins and never move them, and you wouldn't know. Um, but I think once they send, you'll be able to like see the receiving wallet. So if there's any transfer of actual value uh, for the city, are there any tax implications for accruing receiving the stacks? Um, you know. My understanding is like cities kind of operate almost like a nonprofit, like um, and you can willfully give the cities money and they will uh, accept it under certain conditions. Um, so uh, I think it's up to the city to kind of like navigate navigate that. I'm not going to be prescriptive and I'm not a lawyer, so I'm not going to say that. Um, where are the resources that one can access to set up city coin mining? 
uh, go to citycoins.co uh, and just uh, put your email in there and we'll send you some information per- fairly soon. Uh, is the code open source? How can I contribute? Yes, it is open source. And Frieger commented github.com forward slash citycoins. Um, yeah. Um, Quincy asks, could this be used to speculate on the success of the city in your opinion? Um, yes. Um, besides holding, speculating on different city coins, wouldn't the municipality uh, want to stake these coins by having people within the community actually contributing to the city rather in order to earn them? Uh, they can do that. The city, the city, if they want to get city coins, they have to take their earning earn stacks and buy city coins with it. Um, someone asked who defines what a city is. Uh, it's a very philosophical question. Um, I'm kidding. Um, who defines what a city is? The community will. Uh, I think. I think we want to be very measured with how we launch. We we as a collective community launch these. Um, but anyone can launch a city coin on stacks if they want to. Like no one's stopping you. Go ahead and do it. Um, um, just you know, you know, some of the communities right now voting on this, and so you know, we. I think that information can just be public, and people can decide what they want to do next. Uh, if the bag is not picked up by the mayor, is it kind of like gambling on politicians' performance since there's no direct impact from the city coin community? Um, well, it's probably it's almost like gambling on the on the community's performance as well as the mayor. Um, and if the um, if the city coin continues to be mined, which uh, um, I would expect them to be, just in case someone is like making an asymmetric bet that someday a mayor picks it up uh, and they want to hold a big portion. Um, uh, that that wallet will just accrue. It's just being credited. So it's almost like um, the game theory there is like you know, there's like a bag of gold in the street that's just getting bigger every single every ten minutes or every day or whatever. And um, you know you can you can not pick it up for as long as you'd like. Um, are we expecting to see an implementation in smaller cities, towns, based on the success of bigger bigger cities? You know, I, I honestly was like thinking about um, thinking about this as well. Like, uh, would it make sense to start in like you know, Jackson, Tennessee, right? Like a smaller city than uh, Miami. Um, and, um, or like, it doesn't make sense to move to smaller cities. I think it does. Like some cities and countries pack a, a punch way above their weight. Um, and and so they should have the affordance of uh, a market sort of rooting them on, in my opinion. Uh, will city coins fall under the limited cap of Bitcoin? Honestly, um, Bitcoin is just a base layer for for this whole thing, and uh, there's a lot of innovation that can be built on Bitcoin. Stacks is one thing; it's it's smart contracts and apps for Bitcoin, and this is one instantiation of a, of a token on Stacks. Um, and so, uh, Bitcoin's scalable as long as you add different layers to it. Um, so we're just sort of replicating what Stacks is doing with proof of transfer here. So, like, the more it replicates, the better, I think. Uh, could this be used to speculate on the success of your? Oh, I wonder you asked that. What's the minimum stacks to mine MIA? I have no clue. We'll see. We'll, the market will determine. Every interestingly, every ten minutes, price pair is established via mining, right? So, um, so um, even without an exchange, you can still see how much the miners forwarded into uh, the the contract. Um, so it might be a little. It might be a lot. We'll see. It'll be it'll be competitive. That's for sure. Uh, how hard is it for the city to get set up on this? Uh, pretty easy. Um, no cost to the city, um, or virtually none. Um, maybe they pay like uh, maybe they pay like twenty basis points for for like a um, uh, a custody pro- provider to continue holding for them. Um, can centralized apps use Citicoin? Yeah, Citicoin is open source, programmable. People can use it for whatever they want. Um, how do we build applications on top of city coins for a city? Say an incentive program to minimize traffic congestion. Um, uh, that, that that I mean, like that is something. Like your 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 example is like kind of like um your example is something that would like take time to like think of like a real practical um, solution there. Um, but anyone can program with the coins. They can build dexes. They can uh, build lend. Uh, they can build like atomic maybe atomic swaps. So you can like swap between cities at the speed of light. Um, they can build proof of how to logins. Um, they can build wallets. They can build social applications that. Like show people's hol- like their hodl reputation, etc. So there's a bunch of um, bunch of different things. Um, could there be any city coin wallet people will use? Yeah. So the great question. So the the wallet people will use um, for city coins will be the Stacks Web Wallet. 
So you can mine, stack, and hold and transfer from the Stacks Web Wallet. Uh, thank you, Mark Hendrick, uh, Hendrickson and, and gang for creating that. Um, let's see. Uh, Citycoins will not use Microbox for fast transactions initially, but Citycoins uh, are upgradable to uh, app chains, so uh, can do after that. Um, are you somehow determining who is in leadership of the city, or can anyone muscle in and claim mayorship? No, the actual mayor has to claim this. Um, good question. Please add a vi paid visual visualization on how to mine a Citycoin with snacks and hold them in a wallet. Uh, um, yeah, sure. Um, also, like anyone can do it. Like head, head over to the GitHub, and you can do it. You can help with this as well. Um, is there a tutorial for absolute beginners on how to start building on top of Citycoin? Uh, nope, but uh, I'm sure the community will create that. So um, yeah, would would love to see that. That'd be cool. All right, I am going to. Uh, I think that was the end of the questions. Um, um, uh, Lewis, are we able to bring Jason on to show just like, just, just like, like so for this, I just brought some quick little screenshots to kind of see what's going on and show you a little bit of what the UI will look like. Um, so not a um, huge, crazy presentation here, but let me go ahead and share my screen, bring up this one, and we'll bring up some initial shots of the UI. So just want to confirm, can everybody see that? Yes, my yes, yes, All right. So as, as we were talking about, um, the basic idea here is around three major functions. So you have the registering. That's good. I'll wait to confirm, and that, that sounds good. Um, so a quick walkthrough of the UI here that we're going to use uh, around being able to interact with this contract. So the three main functions of the contract to consider, we have registration, mining, and stacking. Um, so just a quick look of what that looks like. You have a, a landing page here that will require you to log in with your Stacks web wallet. When you click on that button, you will see, actually it looks like it skipped a screen on me here. Um, you'll see your ability to choose an account, just like we've seen with other apps in the Stacks web wallet. And then you land on the dashboard. Um, so the main dashboard here will query the contract and see if mining has been activated. Now, this piece doesn't happen until 20 independent wallets signal the activation. So you do have to send a transaction. You do have to pay a tiny little transaction fee. And after those 20 people signal their registration, mining begins after a short delay. I believe we have it set to 100 blocks right now. Um, so this is the, the first screen that everyone will see and you'll be able to do. Following that, we have uh, two main pages that, that show up. So one is centered around the mining. The way mining works, as Patrick described earlier, is you send your stacks into the contract. The um, stacks are then checked against a verifiable random function that takes into account how many stacks you've sent compared to the other miners and selects a winner, much like we see in POX now. You do have the option to mine for a single block, or you can set it up to mine for 30 blocks, um, which does give you a little more time in between sending those transactions and getting things confirmed. And then the bottom part of the screen here, you can see how we claim the mining rewards. Um, now, because this is a smart contract integration, everything's not 100% automatic. So you will submit a transaction for mining. And then once you are eligible for rewards, you will submit a transaction to claim those rewards back. Now, there is an issuance schedule that's defined in the product requirements document on the GitHub. I definitely encourage people to take a look there for more of the technical info. And this is a little bit of what the screen would look like. So you'll have these individual functions and you'll be able to hit each one as needed. Now, same for stacking. Um, you know, you, what you'll do in a stacking transaction is that you will choose your amount of Miami coin to send into the contract and choose your amount of reward cycles. Reward cycles right now are set at 500 blocks and you can do a maximum of 32. And once that time passes and, and the reward cycles over, you'll be eligible to go back and claim your stacking rewards. Um, so you can see a little mock-up of what that looks like here as well. So you'd be able to claim both the stacks that was sent by miners and the Miami coin that was stacked in the contract and bring those back into your wallet. Uh, so I know that's a, a super quick demo um, to share, but just wanted to, oop. oh, I got everybody on a, on a loop there. 
So yeah, I just wanted to share a little bit of what that's going to look like and um, how we're how we're going to be programming that into interface with the contract itself. Thanks everyone for attending and uh, check out citycoins.co. Sign up with your email and um, let's make it happen. It'll be fun. Cool. See you, gang. Bye.